If you're wanting the silver bullet to growing your business, making your life better, I, I always talk about how there's not a silver bullet, but I actually, the more I think about it, there is one, and that's what we're going over today. We're gonna to be talking all about how health is a silver bullet, some of the different things that I've been involved with to push my health forward, to, to be fitter, to have more energy from testosterone, to working out, to all of these different things. You may ask, how's this beneficial? But this is a foundational part of your life. Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Godar. I run a landscape business in Illinois and in Florida. We also do business coaching through Growcom, which has been huge and such a value add because the true exciting thing for me is seeing other people win and getting to see that we're helping other people. I, I write down all the time that I want to inspire people. And when someone says this one thing helped, even if it's on a YouTube video, that helped out so much that uh, that really got me going. That means the world to me. And I, I realize more than anything, Thing, helping other business owners is is really really exciting and that's why the video like today talking about health which a lot of us don't necessarily tie together with business is so huge because even if this doesn't get as many views if this inspires one person to become more fit to look into things to better themselves they're going to better their life they're going to better their business and everything involved right before we get into the meat and potatoes of this a very common thing with business is we get started and we forget about our health before I got into business, I was super, super fit. I'd always train for racing or or even through my younger years where we had the party days and whatever. Even throughout that, there was still a lot of working out and um, we just maybe weren't treating our body the best way in other ways, but was still overall really, really fit. And before I started the business, this became a huge part of my life. You know, I was probably in the best shape I'd ever been in, but that quickly declined as I started the business because everything else came to the forefront. I was working alone. There's an airplane flying over and it's gone enough. So your health quickly goes to the wayside when you're starting a business because you're wearing all the hats. You're thinking about what do I need to be focusing on right now? You know, I've got to sell new work. I've got to do the work. I've got to do all of these different things I have to do from A to Z in the business. And unfortunately, health goes to the side. Well, if you're starting a business or you're already deep in the, the running of having a business a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, health needs to become a priority. Taking care of yourself first so you can excel for others is extremely huge. Now, a funny thing as I prepared to shoot this video is I can look all the way back in my notes and I'd, I'd opened a Trello board the other day because I'm starting to do some organizational stuff or some new projects we have going. And early 2019 is when I started saying, hey, health is gonna be, it's gonna be a huge part of our growth. And it's so crazy that I got put away and not opened for years. And in the past couple of years, past few years, I've made this a huge focus. Ever since I came to Florida, this became even more of the, the forefront of what was gonna help me be more successful in my life and in my business. And so it's cool seeing it then and then seeing it come so far and how that's changed. So I wanna talk about some of the different things that have really helped me grow and some of the things that you should look to that are very, very easy because a lot of us people get this daunting feeling of becoming healthier. It's too much of a challenge. It's, it's too much work. It's expensive. Doing little things, taking action on little things is all you need to do to start pushing in this, in the right direction. As you stack wins, as you feel better, you're just going to want to do more and more anyway. So let's get into this. First things first, getting your hormones checked. I don't care if you're a man or a woman looking at getting a blood test to get your hormone levels checked and see where all your other blood markers are. Look at where you may have health issues, be seeing, okay, uh, my triglycerides are high, my testosterone is low, I'm at a deficit on these certain vitamins. Knowing all of this and being able to correct that according to an actual report, like true statistics of your body versus just supplementing with vitamin D because I think I need to supplement with vitamin D. This is huge. This is something that doesn't take a ton of work, doesn't take a ton of time, doesn't take a bunch of outlay of effort in the gym. It is just just getting some information about you and where you're currently at, and then you can proactively make changes. You know, I was someone that this was definitely hindering because even though I didn't have uh, much background and, and symptoms of low testosterone, I could have made a lot more gains when I started working out faster if I'd known that my testosterone was through the floor, you know, under the 200s, um, really just out of the range of even being healthy, and that would have made it 
where we got there quicker. And why I state this first is because a lot of people have tried to get more fit, haven't made much progress, and then get frustrated. Well, maybe it's just like anything else. If you're not set up right, like if your body's not at an optimum level of certain things, it's not going to make the gains it could make. And then that is going to further deter you from doing things about your health. So get your hormones checked out, find out uh, where those are at, find out where all your other levels are at. And right there, get a good base of what you need to be working on. And all you have to do is find someone uh, qualified like I don't just love like the testosterone replacement clinic. I like looking for something that is like talking about overall vitality. Oh, you can see my breath, by the way, Arizona. It's actually the last day of our vac full day of our vacation. We leave tomorrow. Surprisingly cold in a state that I was hoping would be really warm, but still been a really good time. Little difference of weather. Find somebody that is looking at like your overall health, not just, hey, they're low test, so we're gonna be able to give them injections and get them on something that's going to maybe help them. I wanna be thinking about everything. I don't wanna have such a small like view on health. Second, eating healthier. This is something that can be drawn and, and taken to all different kinds of levels. What my biggest advice for me on this is, is it doesn't have to be a crazy difference. You don't have to do this crazy restrictive diet. Just clean up some of the food. Become more educated about some of the things you're eating and doing. As far as like if you're wanting to gain size or, or lean out, use my fitness pal. And it doesn't mean you have to track it all the time. Just watch on a couple days of like how you normally eat and what that looks like. And this is going to give you good directions. If you just follow these first two things, like without even getting into working out, these are already going to make your business and your life more successful because energy and all of these things are going to help you excel at everything in your life. Now, finally, talking about working out, this is huge. You know, 75 Hard really started my journey when it came to Florida of getting back into working out. And I think it's a great program. Andy Frasilla is freaking awesome. And he came up with the true silver bullet. But the, the silver bullet is to continue the excellence of health and all the things you do. It's not to just get through 75 days and quit. It's to continue on indefinitely. And so working out has became a huge part of, of what I do. Now, does that mean you have to work out six, seven days a week, twice a day, whatever? No, it doesn't. You can come up with something that you work out several days a week and you are still making gains. You're still increasing your health a little bit all the time in your fitness and your cardiovascular. And all of that stuff is huge for you. Something though, that is a very big trick or kind of fun thing because we like to complete stuff as individuals. As we grow our business, we love Love that, well, we hit a hundred thousand in sales. We love that we hit a million. We love that we hit five million, 10 million, 100 million. You know, we love those increases and seeing those things happen and those like those barriers and hitting those next level. So, a really big hack, which I hate that word, but really big trick to make this even more fun and more exciting is to tie it to some kind of accomplishment. For me this year, that's why I've really set out heavily to set four Tough mutters, to set a half marathon, which now I think the half marathon is going to come become a full marathon because I can already run a lot farther than I ever thought I was going to be able to much easier. And, um, and that's what we do in business. You know, we set those big goals, we get close, we keep moving them and keep moving and keep moving the target and we're building stuff in our life. And right now we're talking about health. And if you're still watching, that's awesome because this topic is fucking going to change your life and your business and your relationship. But you need to be setting things that pull you through your life. You're looking forward to that next thing, that next Tough mutter, that next marathon in your business, that next revenue goal in your relationship, that uh, that next level of a more loving, more tighter, cooler, ideal relationship that's in your mind, you know, whatever that is to you. So setting targets like that, some kind of targets, some kind of fitness things that you go to. I remember back in the day when I was super, super in shape. I, I did a fight for air climb and, and then I was into tough mutters and things like that. And I'd ran a 5k. There was always that thing to look forward to. You know, last year for me, it was racing motocross. I was training for that. The year before it was just, we were getting started in business and 75 hard was, uh, was a goal thing, you know? So there's so many things that will pull you into the future. Now, the huge bonus to all of this, these little things we've went over, which were general information. That's how all of this shit is. Like you don't have to, you don't have to make it hard. Keep this simple. But the, the bonus nugget for this whole thing is the more fit you are, the, or at least the fitter I am, which I know that this is how everyone is going to feel. So if you feel like that's something you should be working on, we got a couple people in Growcom that say that's like on their radar of something they're going to really take back into control. The fitter I am, the better I handle all challenging situations. 
whether that be in my relationship, whether that be in my business, whether that be in sales, because I'm more confident. I believe in myself more. People have a, uh, they perceive me at like even a higher level because when you see someone that's really fit, you see someone that's really financially successful, you see all these things and you have more and more respect, especially if you understand what it takes to get there. And that just allows you, as you push these things forward, to act and to handle situations even better. So my challenge to you, my push to you is to make 2023 the year where you look into your health, and this is really all for everything else in your business. Health is the byproduct of this that you get to live longer, have more energy, be happier, whatever. Be less depressed because it helps with depression, helps with everything. That's all byproducts and, and like just the business becoming more successful. All these things are, are huge and it's going to allow you to take this on better. So my, my push, my challenge for anyone watching this, if just one person can say that, hey, I'm going to take control of this in 2023, no matter what level you are at now and I'm going to make it better so I can have a more successful 2023 and then I'm going to keep building on this indefinitely. Just like being a lifetime learner, being a lifetime uh, advocate of taking care of yourself. This doesn't mean we don't do some stupid things and not the healthiest things from time to time. It's not, it has to be perfect every single day, but doing your best to do the best that you possibly can. That's my challenge to everyone who watches this video, who's stuck around at the end to hear me say that. And so if you've got some value out of this, if this has made you think that health is probably maybe that next little level that I can unlock that and do better in everything else, make sure you like this and you subscribe to this channel. Um, if you wanna hear more stuff about like the testosterone side of things, the workout, see some of the stuff I'm doing, leave that in the comments as well. Um, that's been an exciting journey for for me, but if it's something that you know people aren't necessarily interested in, I'm not going to share that. But if you want to see more, I'll definitely share as much as I can on there. And then make sure to share this with somebody else, especially if you know there's someone that could really use this information because they're struggling with those things. And, and maybe they're telling themselves the story of it's so hard, it's so expensive, it's so this, to show them that there is just like some little tiny steps you can take and you don't have to do it all at once. You can just bite just like eating an elephant one bite at a time and you'll get there. So everyone, hope you've enjoyed this. I can't wait to see you soon. Stay healthy. Have an exciting 2023.